All right, trailer for a new Star Wars series about Boba Fett recently dropped. Can't remember if it was today or yesterday, honestly. Very recently. Has it been more than a day or two, I don't think. Anyway, I'm I'm going into this uh, with a little a little hesitancy because I feel like Disney has screwed up Star Wars so bad in a lot of ways that I really don't, I'm not super thrilled or excited about this. So let's just check out the trailer, see what it's like. Oh, wasn't expecting that. I am not a bounty hunter. I've heard otherwise. Not like the original actor, it looks like. I know that you sit on the throne of your former employer. Jabba ruled with fear. I intend to rule with respect. You were all once captains under Jabba the Hutt. I'm here to make a proposal. The green font color in the Lucasfilm and also in the in the wording. I don't know if that's just my imagination, but it seems like they're just they're color coding, color matching with his green helmet. Well, that's mutually beneficial. Why speak of conflict when cooperation can make us all rich? What prevents us all from killing you and taking what we want? Mm -hmm. If you had spoken such insolence to Jabba, he'd have fed you to his menagerie. Mm -hmm. Please. Speak freely. But what will happen if you do? Oh, it's just around the corner. Okay, just around the corner. Um, I mean, I'm mildly interested in this. I don't know. You know, like I said, Disney has just done so much to tarnish Star Wars in general. Even the the product of the Mandalorian, in my opinion, has been tainted by the way they handled the whole thing with Gina Carano, which was really stupid of them. And I don't even know if a season three is for real going to happen. I know there were some issues with Pedro Pascal, or supposedly some issues with Pedro Pascal, um, and his hesitance to continue wearing the helmet all the time. And there were apparently some issues about that in the second season. And then, of course, they fired Gina Carano. And I know the big reveal of Luke Skywalker at the end had everybody just like very, very emotional. Or a lot of people had were very emotional and happy and some people crying and everything about it. And then we haven't heard a whole lot about The Mandalorian since. Not that I recall. So I don't even know if it's happening. If it's happening, it's news I either forgot about or it's news I missed, which is possible. But I do see a lot of stuff floating across my, my YouTube and my Twitter news feeds and also on Facebook and on, Inst on Instagram. So I generally do notice information about stuff like that, but sometimes things slip by. I never watched season two of The Mandalorian. I, I lost interest and never got around to it. And then they, the, the whole, just the whole fiasco. I mean, Disney is just, I, I've made no secret how I feel about Disney. I wish they had like a completely new, like, I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I wish they would completely overhaul many of the people in their leadership and adjust their thinking because 
it seems like more often than not, they're just pissing off fans. And I don't know why they would want to do something like piss off fans because it's fans that's going to make your product successful or not. So, you know, plus, like some people have said, there's just an oversaturation. Oh, well, it's kind of redundant, but there's just a saturation of all of these things are put. And that also includes the Marvel stuff, too. And I think it's just kind of wearing a little thin, like people are getting a little bit tired of it. You know, if you have just this abundance of stuff, at some point you're going to have a miss. They've had a few misses along the way, as far as I'm concerned, for me anyway. And the, and the audience in general has felt similarly. You, you, you pile too much on. You don't take your time. Sometimes it feels like there's not as much, like the interest gets diminished because people don't really have to wait a long time for the next big Marvel or Star Wars thing to come, come around. And so I feel like that kind of dampens enthusiasm. For me, the enthusiasm has been dampened more because of just the stupid stuff they're doing with the stories and the management of Disney just being dumb. Plus, I don't have Disney Plus. I don't have Disney Plus. I don't have Disney Plus. So it, I don't I'm not generally able to jump on these things right away anyway. I mean, I, I probably could if I really wanted to, because I know people that have Disney Plus, but I'm just not super thrilled about a lot of their stuff lately. The stuff on their, you know, their Disney Plus, especially their Star Wars stuff. I don't know. The character of Boba Fett has always been kind of interesting, though. I think he's he's been a fan favorite for a long time. So it'll be interesting to see if this if this can actually go anywhere good. If it if it makes the fans happy, like like good portions of the Mandalorian did, make fans happy. And that was probably largely because John Favreau was sort of the one behind, you know, behind the scenes, making the story and everything. He's very talented. So I don't know who's working on this, but I guess we'll see what the fans think of it when it comes out. And it's just not too much longer. So, all right. Well, I'm, I said quite a bit more than I expected to say for a video that's less than two minutes long, but there we go. Uh, the trailer was decent. It, it wasn't it wasn't overly lengthy and we got a good enough idea as to what this is about. So I didn't realize Boba Fett. Well, you know, I, I don't know how much of this this storyline is anything from the books and or comics and stuff that came out or if this is something completely new that's been written specifically for this show. But I was going to say I didn't know he was ever in a position of leadership, but. I mean, the last we knew of Boba Fett, as far as the official movies go, he'd been sucked down into the worm. But then, of course, we find out, no, he really escaped. We never see that, but whatever. Okay, well, that's rambling. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I've got at least one or two other trailers I'd like to check out before I'm done for the evening. So, adios. Mm -hmm.